Yo, what's going on? My name is Ethan. I do Photoshop work for fun. Here's some of my work. And today, we are going to be doing sky replacements. This video applies to anyone who does photography, period. Sky replacements are essential to photos, guys. It makes it a lot better. Uh, I've been told to keep these videos a lot shorter, so that's what I'm going to try to do. Keep this video under five minutes. So, let's just get right into this. Oh, and stay to the end because at the very end of the video, I'm going to be revealing my number one essential tip for sky replacements and how you can nail them every single time. So let's get right into this. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be taking out this guy and turning this photo into something like this. This edit is super dramatic. I know. I love it. Uh, you guys should love it too. Um, and obviously you can tone it down. But let's just, you, you've got the idea. So the number one way to get rid of sky is honestly quick selection tool. If your sky is white and this is gray, it's going to be really easy to select that out. Um, and so you can see I pick up this. You can go, just click option and uh, deselect that, deselect that. And then you can click on, sorry, it's got to make all of these layers hidden. You can click on the mask tool. It's going to select out that and hit command I. And the rock's looking good, but the water's looking a little weird. So we can get this tool here, select out the water. Uh, we just kind of want uh, a horizon that's not bumping all over the place. And then what we can do, because uh, even with that water, the horizon is a little too, too edgy, we can right click on our mask, hit select and mask, and we can add a, a bit of a feather to that. Because you can also see that the background is going, uh, is going uh, out of focus. You can see because the rock's out of focus, so obviously that's going to be out of focus. Um, next, don't mind the desktop guys, that's just who I am, do not judge. We drag in our sky, and we put that behind the layer. And you want to make sure that the brightest part in the horizon, just like the original photo, is right on the horizon. So we can drag up our points, drag down, bobbity beep, bobbity boop, something like that. And it already looks good. The problem right now with this photo is that um, this photo is like really dark. Like this photo was taken for the sky, and this photo was taken for the subject. So, which means that this photo, if it was taken for the sky, all the darks are going to be there. Um, if that makes sense. So what we can do to make that, it's, it's too contrasty. If it, like I said in earlier videos, uh, the farther away something is, the, the less contrasty it'll be. So we can raise up the blacks there and then raise up the highlights just, just a bit. We can go to our model because the sky is purple. We can go to color balance and we can just change the colors of the photo. Move it to uh, a little bit of magenta, a little bit of blue. Mess around with the, uh, the reds a bit, um, and nice. That looks nice and solid. Next, what we can do, obviously the horizon of the water is going to be bright. It's not just gonna be dark like that because there's a sun hitting it. So we can go uh, with selecting our, our layer, the, the subject, add a curves adjustment layer here, and make sure that's just clicked so it hits the layer below it, um, and we can just Brighten this up a bit. Uh, brighten up the darks just like that. And hit Command I so it introverts that. And just get your brush, your regular brush here. And then you can just paint over the, uh, the brightest part on white. If this is black, you paint white. Next, what we can do, uh, still on the layer of the girl here, we can add a new layer um, and select the color of the sunsets so of the yellow and then get like a, a brush or a fog, a fog kind of tool. Uh, this is just one that I got here. I could probably provide in the description any uh, a fog tool that you could use and then just kind of hit over the horizon just like this. And then we can put that layer to overlay, or not overlay, is it screen? Yes, that looks, that looks good. Uh, you can put that to screen. And it just kind of, it, it like essentially blurs the horizon just a bit. Uh, it gives it that brightness that you can't really tell the difference between the horizon and the sky. Uh, and then uh, what we can do to make the lighting a bit more realistic is above everything now, go to exposure. And what we're going to be doing now is adding a vignette. So we can take down the exposure, uh, 
go to our brushes and then paint around the brightest parts of the area. And then finally what I like to do with all my photos and if you watch if you watch this channel a lot uh, you know I do this with every photo is that I merge every layer together and then I go to the camera raw filter and then I make some final adjustments maybe uh, take away some vibrance uh, push up the blacks add some white some highlights boom boom We went from this to this in under five minutes, I hope. You're probably right waiting for the number one biggest tip. Let me tell you that right now. If your photo looks like this, uh, you can't take out the sky. If the photo, and what I mean by that is, you can see the sky here is bleeding onto the foreground. Now, I've tried this many times and it has failed. No matter what sky you use, uh, most of the time it will fail. One, this would be a very advanced guy to take out in the first place because of the trees and the foreground elements, I would not recommend it. But if you have taken a picture where the sky bleeds on here, just do not bother editing it. Unless you are a pro at this and you know what you're doing, just don't even try. That will save you so much time when you are looking for pics to edit or even through your own pics to edit. Just do not try, especially if you're going for purple skies like this. It just looks super unnatural. Yo, I forgot to mention this in the video, but I am doing my first huge course giveaway, never before seen, my hour-long course showing you how to make this photo. Now here's the catch, I need testimonials for this course. So if you end up winning it, I want to provide people with uh, a proof that is a good course. So I want you to leave me a small paragraph telling me what you got from this course. Now, if you want to enter this course, guys, it is super simple. Just comment down below a request for a future video to do with Photoshop that you want to see me make. You know, something like sky replacements, how to select an object, how to uh, change the color or something. And I'm going to be choosing my favorite one. So make sure it's detailed and creative. Thanks so much, guys.